Hello everyone and welcome to our Pleshy Reflection for this week. The reading today is from Luke chapter 2 verses 22 to 40, that very familiar reading for Candlemas, the presentation of Christ in the temple. I'm actually recording this on the 1st of February, which is the day before Candlemas and is St Bridget's Day. Uh, hence I am wearing my St Bridget's cross as this is my saint's day. Um, I love the story of St Bridget's cross. St Bridget, this amazing saint, uh, lived in Ireland around the time of St Patrick uh, and many, many, many legends have grown up around her about her generosity, her hospitality. Um, but St the cross, uh, she was, St Bridget was sitting by the death of the bed of a dying, either a dying king or even her father, uh, and was uh, sitting by him as he died. Uh, and she took, picked up the rushes and started weaving a cross. Uh, and the king asked what she was doing and she said she was making a cross and he said, why? So she told him about Jesus, about his life, his death, his resurrection. And he came to faith on his deathbed and wherever afterwards uh, we weave the cross of St Bridget. <clears throat> but I actually want to reflect a little bit now on Candlemas, the presentation of Christ which we call Candlemas. And it became Candlemas because this was the, the festival on which all the candles for the church year were blessed. Candlemas is the 2nd of February, the end at last of the Christmas season. I'm one of those who keeps my uh, nativity scene out until Candlemas. <clears throat> the end of Christmas, the beginning of spring. In the Celtic, in, or in Ireland, this is the season of Imbolc, which means uh, stirring in the belly. Be when the pregnancy of the ewes and the seed stirring in the ground. So a question this morning is, what is stirring in you at this season? <clears throat> But the reading today for the presentation, another powerful story. And sometimes I like to try and imagine what it was like and what it might be like today. So imagine you're in Westminster Abbey, masses of people milling around, and the verger comes up to a, a very ordinary looking couple and looks at the child and says, God, let me die in peace, for now I've seen the one who is to be our saviour the one who will bring light to the dark of your people, not just to Israel, but to all nations. And then a very old lady praises God and tells everyone about the baby. Two elderly people steeped in prayer who recognise Jesus. <clears throat> I'm going to mention Christmas again. Christmas, the Christmas story is full of people who recognise Jesus in the child. <clears throat> the parent, his parents, the shepherds, the magi, and now two elderly people who by virtue of being old were and a widow were on the outcast of society. But they were two people steeped in prayer. Are our lives steeped in prayer? And do we recognise Jesus when he comes into our lives? Simeon did, because he was always looking. At our baptism, we're given a candle, a sign that Jesus is to be our light and companion throughout our life. And we have continually to look for that light. We have to look, as Simeon did, at every passing face. Where have you met Jesus recently? In the sunset, a rainbow, and a helping hand, a smile, a word from someone you didn't expect. Do you, like Simeon and Anna, believe that Jesus is with us now? If you do, then rejoice and praise God and let his light shine out through your lives so that others in the crowd will recognise his presence too. And I just want to finish with a prayer that is attributed to St Bridget. 
I should like a great lake of beer for the King of Kings. I should like the angels of heaven to be drinking it through time eternal. I should like excellent meats of belief and pure piety. I should like the men of heaven at my house. I should like the barrels of peace at their disposal. I should like for them sellers of mercy. I should like cheerfulness to be their drinking. I should like Jesus to be there among them. I should like the three Marys of illustrious renown to be with us. I should like the people of heaven, the poor, to be gathered from all parts. Amen.